Hey, what's up guys? Tim Petrillo here. We're going to show you how to do uh, the PS3 jailbreak using a microcontroller. Uh, just want to show everybody how this is done. I got to talk kind of quick because I don't have that much time. I'm uh, forced recording this on my phone, so it may not be perfect. Uh, the first thing to notice is the chip itself. Uh, today we're using the uh, AVR USB 162. Uh, the company that makes that is uh, O-L-I-M-E-X. And uh, you can get that off of the internet for about 30 bucks. Check the description for everything. I will have detailed instructions. Uh, this isn't a, a proof of concept video as much as it is a, a how-to video. Uh, first thing that you need to do is you need to install a program called Flip. You can download this uh, from the website for free. It's uh, You want to Google A-T-M-E-L. And you, you'll find the Flip uh, software. I believe the version is, uh, you want to get as higher than 3.0, the, the current one is. Uh, you install that onto your computer first. And if you do, it looks like this. Uh, the next thing you need to do is with the chip itself. Now, now, this is actually very important. What you need to do is you need to take the chip and, and just hold it in your hands. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there's actually two buttons on the chip. Uh, the first one right here is the uh, HWB button and basically is a, like a home bootloader kind of button. Uh, the second button is going to be really hard to see. Uh, it's right here. It's a very small little black button and I don't even know if you can see the white letters above it but it says uh, RST and, and that is your reset button. So once again, those are the two buttons. Uh, you need to have the chip in your hand and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to hold in the reset button and don't let go. Then you're going to plug in the USB cord to your computer. After that, hold in the HWB button, then let go of the reset button, and then let go of the HWB button. If you do this correctly, you'll get a little ding dong on your computer. That way you know you did it right. Once again, that's a bit confusing. Just hold the chip in your hand, Hold in the reset button, do not let go, then plug it into the computer, then hold in the HWB button, then let go of the reset button, and last of all, let go of the HWB button. This turns the chip into DVR mode, and it is ready to be flashed. Uh, now, the first time that you do this, if you do it correctly, a uh, box will pop a new hardware device wizard. And uh, if you haven't done it, just continue to, to retry the process until you get it correct. When this pops up, uh, once again, the description will point you to uh, tutorials, websites that will help you do this. Uh, but basically what you need to do is you go into the ATMEL directory in there under the, the USB. You'll find the driver. It's very simple. Once again, check the directions for the link and uh, you install the driver. Uh, once that's done, you're ready to go. Uh, once again, at this point, you have the chip actually plugged in to your computer. Uh, mine's down there. I, I've obviously already done this, but we're just showing you how to do it. Uh, once that's the case, you, you open up the uh, Flip software. Uh, it's a very easy program to use. Uh, basically, up here, uh, you have the actual chip uh, button, and you go ahead and you click on that. That's going to let you pick the uh, correct chip. And, and once again, this is the uh, AT USB 162. And uh, there's a lot of chips out there on the market. They're hard to find. Teen Teensies are sold out. All kind of stuff is sold out. So uh, that was the best one that I could find for a cheap price. Got it overnighted. Pretty sweet deal. Um, so after you click the correct uh, device, uh, the second feature button that you press is this one, USB cord. And uh, what that's going to do is open up uh, connection mode. Uh, you, of course, you click on USB. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. Uh, but... The next thing that will happen, a little box will pop up here, and you hit open. Uh, then all this stuff will turn green. You'll be connected. It will tell you uh, connected uh, to the chip and reading and all kind of wonderful stuff. Uh, from there, you're ready to load the hex file. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just come into file, uh, into load hex file. Uh, from there, it brings up your uh, loading screen and uh, you're able to load uh, wherever that file might be. Uh, in this case, it is a very specific file uh, directed towards this chip. It took me forever to find. I would be happy to share this with all the tubers out there uh, for the love of PlayStation 3. Uh, Xbox 360, you can suck it. Uh, that's another story altogether, but uh, PlayStation live forever. 
Uh, so after that, you're connected. You've uh, loaded the file. Down here, it says run. You go ahead and click that. A couple boxes will pop up, blue lines. It's good to go. It takes a couple seconds. And then down here, you'll see start application. You go ahead and press that. Now, if you've done this correctly, a white little wizard box will pop up down here and say something like USB drive, blah, 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 whatever. If it's yellow, you messed up. You need to do it again from the beginning. You need to make sure you have the right hex file. Very important. There's a lot out there. Make sure you get the one off this link. Uh, but once again, if it pops up and it's white, you've done it correctly. Uh, you are free to uh, disengage the chip from the computer itself. Uh, second, what we're going to do is we're going to actually plug it in to the PS3. Uh, now, for this sake, once again, I highly suggest that you buy two PS3s, one for online and one for obviously not online, doing what we're doing today. Uh, in this example, we have the Slim for online, Modern Warfare, forever. Any other first-person shooter is garbage uh, in comparison. And uh, really quick, uh, Treyarch, you guys suck, man. Uh, Infinity Ward's been uh, the show the whole time. Uh, Robert uh, Bollinger and uh, the guys at Respawn, uh, I'm interested to see your next game that comes out. Uh, anyhow, so we've plugged in our chip into the PS3. Uh, through the uh, first USB drive. It is okay that I have a uh, extra USB cord coming out of the second uh, with a bunch of uh, extra external hard drives uh, plugged in. Uh, a total of about 1,600 gigs as of right now. And, and by now you've noticed uh, the Urban Camouflage. It's modded. Uh, of course, we've got uh, all the major consoles uh, as well as the best one, the PlayStation 3. Um, so from here, you're good to go. Uh, what you need to do is you need to turn off the power. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, if you are on a slim, you need to unplug. Uh, if you're on a fatty, go ahead and just hit the power switch, turn it back on. We got the red light. Uh, from here, what we need to do is press a sequence of power and then eject. Uh, pretty quick, uh, about a second in between. So power eject. Looks like we did that right. Disc has come out. I guess uh, for the proof of concept, we should probably go ahead and... Uh, show you that it's actually working here so we'll go ahead and uh, get the uh, PlayStation 3 screen up and you'll notice it takes a little bit longer to boot uh, the XMB screen than it normally would obviously it would already be up by now uh, and the time it took me to turn the TV on so that's a good sign that it worked well I do want to point out uh, that this LED light was not gonna work uh, it does work for the chip it's not broken but uh, it's not gonna work for this hex uh, I gotta talk fast because like I said I'm limited to 10 minutes on uh, my phone, which is a Palm Pre, uh, which is the best uh, smartphone ever. Uh, of course, you could do the hack on it as well. Uh, the iPhone could suck it. You guys are trendy uh, douchebags. Anyway, so you can notice by now uh, that uh, it has worked. We are in here. Uh, from here, if uh, we were going to install the backup manager, we would download that off of any website, uh, put it on a thumb drive. Uh, we would press X on this folder. It would pop up. It would install. Uh, when that is done, I've already done that. Uh, you will see, once again, I'm sorry if you can't read it or see, but it is there, I, I promise you. That's the backup manager. Uh, you can go ahead into it. Uh, once again, I want to remind everybody that you do need to have a disc in the system. I would like to prove that uh, we're playing with Bioshock 2 for right now. I, I should have used Modern Warfare 2 because that is the greatest game of all time uh, by a, a long shot, for sure. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and stick that in, once again, so you can see that is the game. And also, it's okay to leave your mod chip plugged in forever, especially if you have the two systems. Uh, if you did unplug it, it, it would still work. Uh, but once again, every time you reset your console, you need to repeat the process of the powering off and the, and the button pressing. I only got about a minute left, uh, so we're going to do this pretty quick. And uh, you can see that this has popped up. I'd like to remind everybody really quickly that uh, I, we don't steal games or, or pirate things, uh, of course, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is uh, games that I've already purchased uh, and uh, have uh, the cases, and these are backups uh, just in case those discs were to be damaged. Uh, really quick, hopefully I can make it in time. If I don't, I promise you it has worked. Uh, you go ahead and, and load up whatever game you want. I didn't, didn't even really see what I got to pick there, but we'll, we'll find out in a second. Uh, once again, you guys saw Bioshock was in there. And uh, here we go. Game pops up, and we picked Tiger Woods 11, which is a fantastic game. As you know, that's not the disc that's in the system, but that is the game that is going to play. Uh, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, once again, I hope you guys have uh, learned a lot today. I know I have. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, once again, I highly recommend if you have a Palm Pre, you do the model on that as well. Peace out, guys.